wasn't addressed to parents. It was addressed I, to prosecutors. That's the problem. Why haven't you seen the memo? I, uh, I, I don't know why I haven't. I don't look at every. I have. I do not get every memo that every U.S. attorney uh, sends out. But uh, if you're wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't. don't I, I just want to be sure I understand this. This. This is a memorandum that collects 13 different federal crimes parents could be charged with. It has United States Department of Justice on the top of it. And you're telling me you haven't seen it? Who's the memo from, Senator? The United States Department of Justice, United States Attorney for the District of Montana. I have not seen a memo from the District of Montana. I not high enough priority for you? It's not, that's not the question. I don't... It is I, the question. Answer my question. Is it not a high enough priority for you when you're threatening parents with 13 different federal crimes? I, These aren't crimes of violence. You've testified today. You're focused on violence. That's not what your U.S. attorneys... They work for you. That's not what they're saying. You haven't seen it because it's not a high enough priority, or not what? A question of priority. No one has sent me that memo, so I haven't seen it. What do you mean no one has sent you the memo? You run the United States Department of Justice, do you not? There are 115,000 employees of the Department of Justice. Indeed, and you are in charge of every one of them. And, and this is a sufficiently important case that you issued a memo. You, over your signature, issued a memo involving the FBI and the Department of Justice in local school boards, local school districts. Your U.S. attorneys are now threatening prosecution with 13 different crimes, but it's not a high enough priority for you. It got lost in the mix. What's up, everybody? Makes for Ty Richard Ojeda here. And Josh Hawley is a liar. Josh Hawley is an actor. Josh Hawley is a traitor. It infuriates me that the senator can walk around spewing this filth, attacking Attorney General Merrick Garland with bold face lies that don't even have an ounce of reality in them. You know, lying in front of Congress is a crime, but lying when you were on the other side of the table seems to be flourishing. We really need to look at changing the laws in this country. Congressional Republicans in both the House and the Senate have made a mockery of the offices that they were sworn into. The GOP has pledged allegiance to insurrectionists, corporate lobbyists, the NRA, Big Pharma, and of course the orange savior on his throne in Mar-a-Lago. Josh Hawley is a Harvard-educated lawyer. He is not an idiot. He just doesn't have any morals left. He is running for president and he will do whatever it takes to get into the Oval Office, including burning the entire country down just to get there. Each week, the Republicans throw crap on the wall to see which topic infuriates their base the most. And then once they identify it, well, they mobilize and they get to work. They call their friends in the right wing terror network, the bought and paid for preachers, their media talking puppets. And then they go nonstop on the topic of the week. Examples of this include the caravan, the assault on the trans community, the masks, then the vaccines, Dr. Fauci, and the list goes on. This week, it's school boards. The radical right has decided to attack school boards. Why? Well, because the elected school boards want to make sure that children and teachers are safe and they are waging a war on safety. Just to set the record straight on this issue, what exactly does Attorney General Merrick Garland have anything to do with local school board meetings across the country? I have no idea. I suspect neither does the seditious Jacqueline and KKK enthusiast Josh Hawley. You know, the same senator that saluted the terrorists that stormed our nation's capital on January 6th? Yeah, that guy. We need to understand the game that they're playing. The seditious Republican Party has one agenda, and that is to hide, infuriate, scare, and destroy this country. Conservative values have been replaced with white supremacist ideology. When they show you who they are the first, second, third, and fourth time, believe them. Sappers through the way, airborne all the way.